Good afternoon, and we're wishing you a uh, uh, fine afternoon, and I uh, hope we're not in an area where you're too hot. Here, it's pretty warm today, so we're inside uh, in a cooler area, doing a little bit of computer work, and we're also in a nice building where there's a, a car storage area underneath. It's all cement floor, so it's nice and cool. So I just wanted to break on and say, say a couple of things that I learned today. I met a, a couple of guys from, uh, from Australia, really nice people. And I met a couple um, from Vancouver Island and another couple from uh, from Lethbridge. And uh, I learned a few things. And uh, it's kind of funny how we learn as retired people. You know, usually when you're married for a number of years, you're associating with the same person, but uh, you don't have the actual time to meet with all the different folks. And some of the things that I learned today <laughs> is that it's pretty... Uh, we can really be thankful for where we are in life because uh, if you think about it, when we're born, we uh, we come into the world with nothing. Our brain is totally totally empty, it's like a it's like a sheet of blank paper like this here, nothing. We know how to cry and we know how to pee and and uh, poop ourselves and make a lot of noise and stuff. But everything we have to learn from square one. So when we go back and start thinking about, well, where did we get all this stuff from? And there was, uh, you think about all the people that were involved with you and uh, have your mom and dad and uh, if they were alive and uh, brothers and sisters and uh, and uh, all the kids we grew up and went to school with. And, and then all of a sudden we had a teacher that was giving us some knowledge and we moved on. And as we were moving up through the system, we we're meeting all kinds of people whether well, they were friends and we learned how to run a slingshot or to shoot a 22 rifle or to hunt or swim or anything like that. We all we had to learn that from something, from somebody or something. And usually it's somebody. So if you start thinking about how to be, be, great, be grateful for that, it's pretty hard to do because a lot of those people now that we grew up with are now gone. They're, they've passed on from the earth. But uh, they have left a great impression on us. And uh, uh, I never think about this. We get one time in our life. That's only one time to make a first impression. Now, with a lot of these people that uh, we knew from our early days, whether it was grew up together and, or learned to, to, uh, to play with them in a playpen or in a sandbox or whether it was in a swimming pool or, or whatever it was, we, all, we, we learned from someone. And it doesn't matter what we've got, because we, we started out... So if you think about our mind as a bank, think about the bank. We came with an empty uh, with an empty brain. We just know how to cry and pee ourselves and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, everything else we learn. So we came into the, into the world with nothing. So everything we've gained is a plus. So we've earned all that stuff, and we've learned it from other people, and we've gained it. So we have all this knowledge now, and it was all free stuff given to us, and we owe people for doing that. So every day is a plus, so uh, we should never feel depressed about anything. Never feel depressed about enough to, uh, to be worried and uh, worried about the world or anybody, or you know, not to be happy, because we are, uh, we're living on the plus side, because everything we got is a plus, because we came with nothing. <laughs> How lucky can you be? If you think about that, uh, a way of finding gratitude, I learned that today uh, from talking to a couple of people, and it's, it's a marvelous way to think about things, because as we get older, you know, the focus is, is might be, well, oh my God, I'm going to lose my driver's license one of these days, and pretty soon I won't be able to walk, you know, and, and i got to go into a care home, but uh, we can't focus on that kind of stuff. Uh, we we got to focus on the positive stuff. And the most positive thing that I found today from talking to people was how lucky we are to have been alive and met all these people. It doesn't matter whether they were just kids in school or whether they were a baby playing in the next playpen or whatever. But each one of those people had an effect on our lives. And we learned something from them. They taught it to us. And we got it free. We didn't have to pay anything because we didn't have any money anyway. So... We never have to be worried or be depressed about anything because everything we got that we can do today is a plus. It's like having money in the bank, but it's knowledge. And that knowledge will stay with us for our entire life. 
Now, on the plus side of, of having that knowledge, I think some of the other things that we, we have to concentrate on, and I also learned that today from talking to some other people, that the, uh, as, as elders or people that are, you know, seniors in life, we don't have all the answers. We don't have all the answers, and we don't uh, claim to have all the answers, uh, because young people now, the technologies have changed, and, you know, people are running cell phones now, and we had the old dial phones, and, and uh, I've been lucky I've been able to pick up most of that stuff, but... Uh, if we think about it as uh, the building we have, we have the responsibility now to pass on as much as we can to uh, people in our family and to our friends and neighbors. And it doesn't matter what it ha what you have. Everything you have is a plus. So we can be happy that we have all that information that was given to us freely. And considering we started out with nothing, now we have all the knowledge, I think it behooves us to take the opportunity to share that by talking to other people. And realize that even if we're in a strange town that we've never been in before, if you're walking downtown and there's somebody sitting on a street corner or sitting on a windowsill or someplace sitting there, look like they're bored, walk over and uh, say, Hi, my, my name is Bill Swanson, or whatever your case may be. Introduce yourself and say, I'd like to sit down and talk to you for a minute. So sit down and talk to them and find out where they're from and what they did for a living, or if they're still working or are they retired, and share ideas and uh, that's marvelous what we can find out. We're, we're continually learning all the way through our life. So uh, as long as our brain is healthy, and I think by keeping our brains active and talking to other people, uh, our chances uh, of getting Alzheimer's are probably quite a bit less because we're keeping active, keeping up with current affairs and learning from people. And it's wonderful to be able to learn how other people learn to do stuff. And they're doing it differently than what we did. So we can learn, we can educate ourselves from their knowledge. So we're actually taking the two brains and we're interacting and we're sharing knowledge from this one to this one and vice versa. And it's being done free. And that's the nice part about being a senior, you know, whether you're a public speaker or whether you're a person who just wants to sit down and talk to somebody. And I can remember one time when we were going to school, we had a, we had a, a couple of uh, native boys there. They were Cree Indian, very nice boys. And they taught me how to make a water pistol out of a, uh, out of a willow tree, a small willow bark, uh, willow, uh, willow limb, and also uh, how to make a slingshot out of a crutch, in a, a crutch in a tree and a piece of a bicycle inner tube and a piece of cloth to put the rock in. And I all I, I owe that to these young fellows that I went to school with. And I still do that today. I pass it on to my grandkids every once in a while. I'll teach them how to do that. So. Everything we have in our bank, and we have, it's all free, the stuff we've got free. And I think it's really valuable that we share that. We have to have the attitude that we don't, we, we don't want to let people, think, let people think that we know everything. But we, uh, they have some really good knowledge that we can share, and we have some knowledge we can share with them. And I think that's what keeps society going, is the, the interaction of people of all ages between each other. And remember, uh, with COVID, we had this COVID fear stuff. And it almost ruined society. We had neighbors living next to us, in fact, in the same apartment here, afraid to talk to you. Wouldn't even walk down the hallway. They'd walk the other way. And it was awful. It was the fear of, of death. Now that kind of stuff is all gone. We're all healthy. All of a sudden, we got healthy all of a sudden. Isn't that exciting? We were all We were okay all the time. No, I've had the flu four times in my life, and one time I had to go to the hospital and, and have a little bit of fluid pumped in my bloodstream because I was a little bit uh, low on fluid. And the doctor gave me a couple of uh, a couple of potassium pills, and within three hours, three hours, I was up and going. So everybody gets the flu once in a while, and we have to be careful, especially when we get old, because if our lungs are in, in bad condition, we can actually uh, wind up with pneumonia, and pneumonia will kill you because it fills up the little air sacs in your lungs uh, with, uh, with infection, and pretty soon you can't uh, transmit any, any oxygen into your bloodstream. So you've got to be careful of that. But I thought I would tell you, to talk to you about that business about coming into the world with nothing and considering us as being rich now because we have all this free information and uh, we're getting more every day. And uh, I think we have to be grateful for that and, and we have to be thankful for our ability to go to sit down and talk to people and share ideas. And if you're able to stand up in front of a group of people and do that, so much the better. 
But even if you sit and talk one person at a time or two people at a time and share ideas, uh, share your experiences, whether it be in hunting or fishing or, or traveling, and uh, we did some of that today, and it was exciting. Talked about traveling up and down the Alaska Highway, and I got a young couple there that's just interested in going now because I painted a picture for them, and it's such a beautiful trip. So I encourage people that have money in the bank and you're retired, for God's sake, go and do those things because life is a one-time shot. We're going to live until we die, and we've only got so much time. It's a little time frame like that. And right now, you know, if you're like we're in the late eight, late eighties now, and we never know whether we got how many tomorrows we got. We don't know how many how many Sundays and Saturdays or tomorrows. We don't even know if we're going to wake up in the morning. So that's why we got to make the most out of every moment. So when you see somebody new that you don't know, go and walk, walk up and talk to them and and uh, share ideas and thoughts. And uh, it's a wonderful world out there. But you have to make it. Uh, there's no use sitting at home and looking at the TV and hoping to hell somebody's going to come and see you. We have to create the kind of a life we want, and that's one thing nice about being retired. We have the ability to do that. We can we can go travel, find people, sit down and talk to them, and make a, a date to go and have coffee together or whatever, but just enjoy every moment as if it was the last one, but it could be. So I hope you have a great afternoon, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. And you'll be a half an hour in heaven before the devil finds out you're gone. Bye for now.